Are you a fan of Porsche's all-electric Taycan? Ever wondered how it'll look with a series of exemplary modifications? The world hadn't seen an unapologetically performance-oriented electric car until the Porsche Taycan arrived. And it really set the EV world buzzing. Now Mansory is back with some aftermarket enhancements to the Porsche Taycan. Stay tuned and learn everything you need about the enhanced Taycan. Hola and welcome back to yet another video. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell icon. Please stay back and watch the video until the end. Without further ado, let's dive right in. First, let's take a deep look into the stock Porsche Taycan 2022. The sedan isn't the perfect electric vehicle, but it's a combination of driving verve and performance stamina. Porsche's all-electric four-door lives up to its premium pricing with a striking appearance and high customizable interiors. For 2022, Porsche made some tweaks to the Taycan family. The all-new GTS model made its way to the lineup. What all changes did the Taycan undergo? As we all know, Mansory is known for many things, and restraint is certainly not one of them. The German automobile tuners hold a great portfolio of cars, from Aston Martin to Rolls-Royce, raising the bar high in both performance and design. They also accommodate motorcycles, off-road vehicles, luxury yachts, and even golf carts. By November 2007, Mansory acquired the Porsche tuning arm of Rinspeed AG, which maintains its Swiss space in Zumikon at Lake Zurich. Currently, Mansory employs over 180 staff members worldwide and owns a global dealership network. The renowned auto tuners are recently offering a new developed customization program for all performance and drive variants of Taycan, Porsche's all-electric cars. The modifications include three specific areas of customization, the design, the wheels, and the interior. The 2022 Taycan aimed to break new ground in the best design tradition of the Porsche. At the same time, the first all-electric vehicle of the German car makers had to be recognizable as such, and the result was an aggressive four-door sports saloon that purely carried the Porsche design legacy. The Taycan looked particularly low and wide from the front and rear with a 1,966 mm width. The LED lights neatly formed a visual unit with the air curtains and seemed to float. It was the first time all the light functions were integrated into a single module. The highly sculpted side sections were also characteristics of the car. The sculpted contours with strong recesses of the body and edges created an exciting interplay of light and shadow. A typical Porsche feature was the rear spoiler that extends three stages depending on speed. Mansory seems to incorporate carbon fiber everywhere in the car. As we all know, the standard operating procedure for any Mansory upgrade is carbon fiber. And you'll find a lot of that in this car. More carbon is forged around the headlights, and the wide air vent on the Taycan's nose reminds us of the 911 GT3. The extremely light material is also used in front air intakes. Below and to the side of the front apron, on the rear view and even the bonnet is entirely made of carbon fiber. The side mirrors also get forged carbon treatment. The rear apron is made entirely of forged carbon, as well as is available in two different versions for the Taycan. One with an integrated third brake light in the center of the diffuser and the other without them. The pair of thin carbon strips spanning the front fender and doors certainly adds to the sporty elegance and dynamic powerful appearance of the Taycan. Mansory never leaves out the wheel upgrade and this Porsche is no exception. The 22-inch Y.5 one-piece alloy wheels are bolted at the front and rear. The precise dimensions were 10 by 22 in the front and 11.5 by 22 in the rear. The one-piece alloy certainly seemed to combine elegance and sportiness at the same time. The Y.5 rims are also available with a diamond polished rim surface which adds to the noble appearance of the Taycan. The tuners also claim that the narrow 5 spoke allows optimal dissipation of the frictional heat generated by the brakes and emphasizes on the wheel dynamics entire combination. The brake calipers of the smart brake system can be custom painted in any color following the customer's will, just like the rim themselves. Most of the Taycan variants featured dual electric motors, with one powering the front wheels and the other powering the rears. While the base model made between 402 and 469 horsepower, the two models created a maximum of 750 horsepower. All Taycan models had an innovative two-speed transmission that provided a thrilling shift during hard acceleration. The Taycan 4S did 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds, while the Performance Turbo S did it in a whopping 2.4 ticks. 
Even after rolling on 21-inch wheels with narrow sidewall, the Porsche Taycan never felt stiff or harsh. The ferocious acceleration and the car's low-slung driving position made Taycan stand out among other electric vehicles. However, Mansory hasn't tuned the Taycan much. Any guesses why? There are probably two reasons for Mansory not to go deep into the car's hood. The primary reason would be because the Mansory may not be familiar with tuning electric cars, or maybe the stock figures were the peak of the motors. The most efficient Taycan is rated at up to 79 MPGE combined, with lightweight carbon fibers all around the car, making serious aerodynamic alterations. You can expect slight variations in fuel efficiency off the Mansory Taycan. Moving on to the interiors, inside the Taycan is a tech-laden environment. The simple design recalls what we've seen in other Porsche models. The cleanly styled dashboard seems to take inspiration from the 1963 911. The cockpit seems to be the start of a new era, with its clear structure and completely new architecture. There's a long list of luxury features including four-zone climate control, massaging front seats, along with heated steering wheels and rear seats. The Taycan comes standard with 2 plus 2 seating with an option to add a third spot in the back on demand. The innovative instrument cluster consists of a 16.8-inch curved display. A color heads-up display is also available as an option for the 2022 variant. There's no lack of screens inside the Taycan, but you'll feel a shortage in physical knobs and buttons. There are two centrally located touchscreens along with the curved 16.8-inch display. The top screen is integrated into the dash and measures 10.9 inches, providing access to important functions. The second 8.4-inch touchscreen below enables users to access the climate settings and check the battery status with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto features. The car's trunk can also be opened or closed. Let's see what Mansory has done with the interiors. Just like any other Mansory customization, the interior is given special importance and attention. Primarily, the company emphasizes customizing to customer preferences. The entire interior is completely new from the stock Taycan with the finest leather all over the cabin. Carbon coatings and leather treatments on every conceivable part are offered. You can avail contrast stitching with all sorts of wild colors. You can find carbon inlays, floor mats, and an aluminum pedal set all with discreet Mansory logos, and another logo beside the central console. Any guesses on where the Mansory Taycan will be priced at? The base model costs around $84,050, while the top-end Turbo S can cost you a whopping $189,350. The most affordable variant in the lineup is the all-wheel drive Taycan 4S, priced at $105,150. The Mansory Taycan costs $1.1 million, almost identical to the Turbo S price. With that, we've come to the end of today's episode. If you find the video informative, like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Hit the notification bell to avoid missing out on upcoming videos. Has Mansory excelled in modifying the all-electric Porsche Beast? Does the Mansory Taycan justify its $1.1 million price tag? Would you go for the stock Taycan or the Mansory Taycan? Hit the comment section below and let us know, as we will be looking forward to your thoughts. We'll meet again soon in another video, and until then, bye bye.